we're back on the east coast this week, fishing an estuary this time, targeting flounder. And it was a really successful day. I landed eight fish. It was quite a long walk to the fishing spot, but unlike last week's video, it was uh, a lot easier going. It was nice and flat. I had three rods with me, two fairly heavy rods that I fished fairly typical flounder rigs on. And on my little lightweight rod, I was gonna try and catch a flounder using a little lure. There's a huge area here that fills up with water at high tide and a fairly small channel that all the water and all the fish have to come through. So that's where I was going to set up. This is a spot that I planned on fishing, but I'd arrived a little bit too early, so the tide hadn't started coming in yet. I knew it wouldn't be long until the water started pushing up here, but I wanted to get fishing right away, so I went further down to where the tide was already pushing in. This looks good for now. There's a tide coming in there. This looks like the spot just now. That's Dunbar off in the distance. The rigs I had on the two main rods were basically fancy one up one downs. I'd made it so the, the lead could slide and also added some beads and flashers. One up, one down, the, the lead can slide so I can feel bites on the bottom. And I've never used this before but I've blinged them up. Some people say that the beads and things really help when you're flounder fishing, but I'm not really sure they're needed. But they don't do any harm anyway, so I thought I'd give it a try. I made these up the night before with just a random selection of beads and a couple of flashers on it. And a, a good tip is to use a swivel as a stopper and then keep your hook six or eight inches away from it. It just means that if a, a fish swallows it deep, the beads won't be in the way when you're trying to get the hook out. Later on in the video, I use probably the most simple rig you can use to catch a flounder. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try and get a wee flounder on the lure. I didn't manage to catch any fish using the lure, but later on in the day, I took off this little soft plastic and just baited up the jig head, and that was really successful. There's about 20 cormorants here, and that seal. So hopefully that means there's gonna be a lot of fish about. It was a, a really nice start to the day. There was no wind at all, and I'd picked a nice day to go out fishing. Couldn't really ask for any better conditions at this point. It must have been a nice day for flying as well as fishing.
just have five more minutes here and then I'll go back up to the the spot that I'm going to fish for the rest of the day first catch of the day exactly what we don't want shore crab bait thief I'll let them keep that bit Just pausing every now and again as I'm bringing this one in. Pausing on the retrieve didn't work this time, but later on in the day, it gets me two fish. When I got set up at my original planned spot, I thought I was getting bites right away, but it was actually just the weight being carried along the bottom by the current, which was a bit strong. I'm just going to move down here, there's this kind of eddy because uh, the current's really ripping in, ripping in back there. It's going to come down to this corner. So I got set up again. I had all the rods fishing fairly close in along the edge of this eddy. The furthest one about 25 yards one at 15 yards and I had my little lightweight rod fishing about a meter from the side. It just goes to show that you don't have to cast far and this is such a simple rig as well. It's literally just a jig head with a lug worm on it. It's always great to get the first fish. It's such a relief uh, to get the first one of the day and it only took me five or ten minutes once I got set up in, uh, in this spot. There he goes. I think I might have one on this rod as well now. Yep, definitely got a fish on here. There we go. About the same size. That one took a, a piece of prawn. You can really see it's got some nice spots on this one. He'd actually took both baits there. So he took the worm on the bottom and the prawn. And he's really swallowed that worm. Hopefully you can see the, the nice spots on him. So I've just got a, a jig head baited up with lugworm. And all I was doing Just dropping it right there. I think Lana might have been trying to dig for some more bait here. I'm not sure what she could smell. I didn't even know I had this fish on. I just lifted it out to check the bait and pulled the fish out the water before I even knew I had it hooked. Decent size wee flounder though. They've always got such mad wee faces. I'm only going to keep them if they're uh, deeply hooked, so if they can go back, they're going back. But delighted with that. Oh! Just splashed me. <laughs> Excellent. Most of the bites that I got were fairly subtle, but there was a couple of times where the rod almost got pulled over. Fish on. Start 
a little tiny one hooked right in the lip lovely wee fish, look at the colours in that one oh Solid bites on this, just a bit pulled the rod off. Smallest fish give the strongest bites. So weird. Another nice wee fish though, I think that's five now. Oh, suck it again. The rise in water meant that I had to move slightly from this spot. Only about 50 yards further up the beach though. But before I did, I wanted to fish this feature at the end of the sandbar. I thought it just looked like quite a fishy feature. But unfortunately, I didn't manage to catch anything here. I didn't try it for long though, because the tide was rising quick and I had to move my stuff. But it was worth a try. I knew the fishing would slow down a little bit at high water, so I brought myself a little barbecue. I think there might be a fish on this one. I was trying to get my lunch sorted, but there's never really a bad time to catch a fish, so I wasn't complaining about being interrupted. And it was good fun catching the flounder on such a light setup. It makes a difference from using the heavy rods, because sometimes you don't even really feel a fight at all from flounders. Another nice one. Lunch time for Lana as well. That's uh, another benefit of taking the barbecue. It acts as a hand warmer as well. An absolute treat. Fishing has been slow since since I've came along here. I've only had the one. Should pick up again. In the next hour or so though just need to keep myself busy till then I might set up the lure rod again but we'll wait and see finish lunch first and then see how I feel looks even better than the first one that's the rain on I just had a wee knock on one of the rods there but it wasn't forecast to rain, so I don't know how bad it's going to get. If it gets any worse than this, I'm just going to go up the road. I've caught plenty of fish anyway. Oh, bites on there though, definitely. Let's see what's on. Couldn't feel anything on that there. Oh, can this time though. I don't know if moving it there just made them take it. It's the nice little one. 
get him straight back. He's hooked right in the lip again. They seem to be really good hooks. I'll show you what they are just now. On you go, mate. There he goes. Brilliant. So that's the hooks. I've only had one that's been deeply hooked. All the rest have went back, no bother, just hooked in the lip. That's the tide dropper again. That's the, the marker I put in it where it came up to. Caught that last fish just as it turned. So hopefully I'm going to get a few more now. And the rain's calmed down a wee bit, it's just spitting now, so... Give it another hour anyway. That's the rain back on, so... I'll give it 20 minutes, half an hour, and then I'm going to go up the road. But it's been a really good day. Nice bites there. Bites again on that. I'm going to leave it a bit longer this time. Oh no, I'm not. It just a bit pulled the rod stand over. <laughs> Surely there's a fish. Can't believe it. There's nothing on that again. I knew there was a fish close by that had just been biting it. So, it was just a case of waiting on it to come back. This is the second fish that I caught by pausing my retrieve. So it is always worth doing. I was just waiting to feel that little nibble again. And it didn't take too long. Got him. Came back. It's always worth having a wee stop as you're bringing it back. That's twice I've got, got a fish doing that. Feels like a decent one as well. Another nice one. Away he goes. Superb. I had planned on fishing for another couple of hours, but the weather was getting worse, and I'd had such a successful day that I really didn't mind leaving a couple of hours early. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers. <laughs>